In the springtime, when the last of the snow is melting, the dormant chrysalises of the swallowtail are about to hatch. Satisfied, the males fly up to higher ground where they perch and watch out for passing females with the intention of mating, so-called hilltopping. After mating, the females fly to the valleys to lay their eggs. In their search for worms and bulbs, the wild boar plow up the ground. Two days later, an orange strip appears on the egg that will darken. During the first few days, the 5mm caterpillar looks just like a bird dropping. A fly, Bucetia musca, is searching for a swallowtail caterpillar amongst the fennel. As soon as the fly spots a young 12mm stage L2 caterpillar, it flies towards it and settles just above it. It's not unusual to find two caterpillars of different development next to each other. Just before changing into a chrysalis, the caterpillar eats non-stop. The full-grown caterpillar searches for a convenient spot in which to become a chrysalis. Having found the ideal spot, it will start to attach itself with a silk thread. Once well fixed, it will prepare itself for its transformation into a chrysalis. The next day the transformation begins. It's well known that the swallowtail has a chrysalis of many colours, varying from green through to grey. Unfortunately, not all of them will become butterflies. This big wasp, Trogus lapidator of two centimetres, just emerged from the chrysalis. It can only reproduce itself by infecting its single host, the caterpillars of the swallowtail. There also exists another wasp species of only three millimetres, which infects the caterpillars of the swallowtail. Teramalis puparum is a non-selective parasitoid of different butterfly species. 50 up to 150 eggs will be injected into the chrysalis. This chrysalis has become victim of this generalist parasitoid. In about a fortnight, the mature wasps eat a way out through the carcass of the chrysalis. Wasps emerge from different spots. After about 20 days, just before hatching, we can see the miniature wings through the transparent coating. The hatching, here five times accelerated, takes about 20 minutes. First the wings must expand to full size and then harden. This takes about an hour. The swallowtail is widespread in the south of Europe, but never in abundance. But during the last few years this butterfly has become more common in the north.